How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Buff Nerd. If you're a new watcher, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. If you're a returning watcher, please like and subscribe to the channel because you guys doing that helps me stay motivated and bring you guys more content. Although it's been about three months. But let me tell you why. So most of you kind of already know what I've been going through, but we're gonna just get to the meat and potatoes of this. So as mentioned in previous videos, I decided to try and get my CCMP Enterprise certification. Now that is the Cisco Certified Network Professional certification. That is the big brother of the CCNA, which is the associate uh, with the was it certified uh, Cisco Certified Network Associate. Um, long story short, this is a deeper dive on some of those uh, topics that you covered in the CCNA, and uh, it's a concentration in a specific avenue pertaining to Cisco. Now for the CCMP Enterprise, those uh, concentrations can be design, wireless design, wireless implementation, SD-WAN, advanced routing, and automation, if I'm not mistaken. Out of all of those tracks, I decided to go with the wireless design because about a year ago, as you know, I stated in the previous videos, check out the link above if you wanna go and watch that, I became a wireless admin. I became a wireless admin and uh, I started doing a lot of these things at my job. So it only made sense for me to go for wireless design. So for a solid year, uh, I've been trying to study and get prepped up in order to take this certification. Now let's go down the timeline. So I got the job as a wireless admin back in uh, November of last year, okay? And that's when I decided that that's, the, uh, that's where I was gonna go down. Uh, when it comes to the CCMP, there's two certifications you gotta get. Two certifications you gotta get, <laughs> not four. But uh, there is the core level certification, which is basically the core topics, the core things you need to know when it comes to being CCMP certified, CCM, CCNP certified. And uh, I got that about a year ago. You know, that certification goes over, you know, some of the baseline stuff, like it goes over BGP in depth. It goes, it goes over EIGRP in depth. It goes over, of course, OSPF. It goes over uh, just the entire Cisco, just hierarchy when it comes to, you know, how, uh, they handle networking. So it goes over all those things. I passed that a year ago. That was a horrendous test. By horrendous, I mean, it took me forever to study for it, and it took forever for me to get confident enough to pass it. That test wore me out. On CBT Nuggets, it was like 55 hours worth of content. Uh, the book was thick. The book was like 700 pages or something like that. I don't have the book anymore. I gave it away because, you know, somebody else decided to put themselves through that torture. But long story short, I got the first half of the CCMP about a year ago, maybe about three to six months before I got the job as a wireless admin. So when it came to the wireless design certification, I didn't think it, I'd have the same trouble as I had with the enterprise core uh, because it was literally half the time when it came to content, it was maybe about 20 to 25 hours if I'm not mistaken, on CBT Nuggets or something like that. Long story short, it wasn't 50 or 55. Um, I bought the official cert guide and the book wasn't that thick. You know, actually the, for, when it comes to the wireless design official cert guide, the design and implementation portion are both in the same book. And so I was like, okay, you know, this is uh, not that much material. And of course, with the concentration certifications, uh, there's not that many questions either as compared, you know, when you compare it to the CCNA or the enterprise core. Uh, for those who don't know, when you do take the certification, uh, you'll be asked roughly uh, 100 questions, uh, uh, 100 questions on the certification. And for the concentrations for the CCMP, they only ask roughly about 60. It, 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 it could go between 60 and 70, it depends. I don't, uh, I, I don't know how they adjust. Sometimes they adjust, sometimes they don't. But the point is this, with, with there being not that much content, I think I can knock this cert out fairly fast and get things going. So while I was a wireless admin, I started studying for it. I was studying, I was studying, I was studying. I, com I completely read the official cert guide and I was like, okay, cert guide's good. I was taking notes, you know, fantastic. You know, let's, uh, let's schedule the test and see how we do. And so I scheduled the test. I scheduled the test in March and I failed it. Failed it miserably. Made a video about it, check it out if you want to look at it. Uh, but yeah, I failed it and I was like, oh man, that, that, te that test was hard, man. This is asking some interesting questions. Um, huh. Well, maybe, you know, I, I just gear up, I read the book again, and I'll try to test. And <laughs> like I mentioned in the previous video, what happened was this. 
literally the day after I took the test in March, CBT Nuggets came out with an entire course on the exact certification that I was trying to take. <sighs> when I tell you, I was irritated when I seen that. So I was like, okay, this is what I'll do. I'll use the official cert guide as a reference and I'll read, not, not read, I'll watch the CBT Nuggets course from start to finish in order to, you know, solidify my understanding on everything. So I was like, all right, let's do that. So from March all the way to about June, I was watching the CBT Nuggets course. I was doing my job, which is I was doing site surveys. I was uh, doing everything wirelessly. Bunch of cool stuff, bunch of cool stuff. And um, as I mentioned in another video, I ended up getting offered a job with that same company because of uh, my work ethic as a wireless engineer. So six months into having the job as an admin, I got offered a promotion. And you know, I talk about that in other videos. All these videos I will link up top, so I'm not gonna keep saying that. But I'm not gonna offer the position as an engineer. But in order to be an engineer, you have to have the CCMP. Now, all I had was the first half of it. But when I did the interview, I, I could talk the talk. You know, I could talk the talk. I was literally like, I, I dang near taught the interviewer about wireless like he was in a wireless like like boot camp, like he was in a crash course. I told him told him about the 2.4 gigahertz band. I told him about the 5 gigahertz band. I told him about the different kinds of site surveys. I told him about the kind of configurations you could put on a controller in order to make sure the APs, you know, fail over to like, like if whatever, I, I told him a lot. It's literally a plethora of stuff I told him. Confident enough, um, but, well, I, I basically gave him the confidence to give me the job, and I got the job. But this was the exception. They was like, okay, well, just get your get, get your CCMP within the next six months, and you know, you'll be good. You know, we'll give you a waiver, and you can get the job. It's like, okay, great, fantastic. You know, I'll just double down and focus on this cert, and I'll get it within the uh, within the first six months. Now that was in June of this year, so. I'm not gonna lie, after getting the job, I was kind of feeling myself, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'm big stuff, you know, I mean, I don't, probably ain't got to take the certification that serious anymore, at least I, I got a little bit of time to, to wait. So, that's the wrong idea, I should have just kept my foot on the pedal, uh, since I had my mind wrapped around it already up until that point, I should have just kept it on, kept my foot on the pedal and just, you know, kept grinding it out. But, here's what happened, so, um... Three months go by. Three months go by, I finished the CBT Nuggets course. And I wasn't going hard watching it every day. I was like on and off, you know, reading, uh, rereading this official cert guide on and off. And about three months go by. So three months go by, I'm like, okay, fine. Let me take the certification again. Let's see how we do. So I take the certification. Uh, I can't remember when it was scheduled. Um, it was not that long ago, two months ago, I think. I scheduled the certification, took it, um, I was I like uh, one thing that I really focused on prior to taking the certification. I tried to focus on the area I was the weakest in. Now, when it comes to the wireless design cert, uh, there are four exam topics. There is high availability. There's uh, what is it? Site surveys. There's the wired and wireless infrastructure. And what is the fourth? The fourth is mobility. Mobility meaning you know how APs or how clients roam between APs that are connected to different controllers and things like that. So. I did the worst. The first time I took the exam, I did the worst in mobility. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna focus on mobility. I'm gonna make sure my mobility is solid. And so I focused on mobility, but in turn, I neglected everything else. And so a lot of the stuff that I knew about the other topics, um, I was a little shaky on when I took the certification again. And so I took the certification and I failed again. <sighs> Me failing it the second time, was a, a very disheartening, I'm not gonna lie, you know, just like, man, what is going on? How come I can't pass this thing? I thought that I did fairly good on it. And so, you know, I get the score report and I, I it improved exceptionally in mobility. Um, I, I scored in uh, uh, the high 70s. Uh, I think, yeah, out of 100, I scored in the high 70s. So I was like, okay, you know, I did good in mobility, but everything else, I was at a standstill. Like, you know, for wireless site surveys and, uh, well, not, not site surveys, but for site surveys, for high availability, and for the wired and wireless infrastructure, I was at a standstill. I'm like, what, the, what is going on? Well, I improved, but you know, I need to improve in all areas in order to get the certification. So I'm like, I'm like, what is it, man? I read the book, I I took the CBT Nuggets course. Why does it seem like I'm still missing pieces of information? And so this is where you know I, I was kind of at a standstill for a minute, and then on top of that, my job was pressuring me to uh, make sure that I passed the certification before six months came up. So I was talking about feet under the fire. My feet were under the fire. Um, 
I dang near completely went was non-existent on social media. I was like, all right, we got to get locked in. You don't have time to play around. So I, uh, with two months left, which is two months ago, so like October-ish, like late October-ish or something along those lines, I was like, all right, time to buckle down. So, you know, I went missing. Uh, I stopped making videos. I had just was like, okay, this is the end all be all because if for whatever reason I don't get this cert, I'm likely gonna lose my job. So I was trying to figure out what was going on. I'm like, yo, okay, let's think about this before we start studying again. I was like, what was it about the certification that was a problem? It's like, you know all the topics, you know, like I, I know what plenty of things are. Like I, I know what RxSOP is, I know what uh, RRM, which is Radio Resource Management is. I know all of the features that come with RRM, like uh, TCA, I mean, not TCA, uh, like TCP or DCA, um, or coverage hold, or coverage hold mitigate. Uh, thresholds um, I know I know a lot man I, I knew I knew what things were but one thing I had to realize um, when it comes to the certifications is that the, the, the certification didn't ask specifically what things were they didn't they would talk around what things were and expected you to know what they were now, of course you know I can't give up to it too much information without you know, breaking the agreement with the certification but the, the point is um, just like for, for this particular certification, uh, just reading the official cert guide, just learning what things are wasn't enough. And so I'm like, okay, well, that's we, we, we have to figure out what is enough. And so from there, I went on, you know, LinkedIn and I started reaching out to people that were, uh, that were CCMP certified and wireless. And so I found a couple of people, you know, I reached out to them. I'm like, yo, you know, what material did you use in order to study for this? Now, see, after talking to these people, the majority of the stuff that I did, they did. But... Uh, there were two new things that I had gotten as far as like, you know, resources of information in order to study for this certification. And one was uh, the Cisco course on the Cisco Digital Learning website. Um, it's very expensive. It costs like 600 bucks. Uh, and with, and that was a course that literally goes over everything. It goes over case studies. It uh, talks about the different things that you need to consider when... Uh, doing wireless design or when you're deploying, you know, controllers in certain areas, like if you're deploying it in an atrium, if you're deploying it in a conference room, if you're deploying it in a classroom, if this is a university and it's going to be a lot of roaming, it talked about a lot of stuff, about 40 hours worth of material, really good stuff, really good stuff. Um, so I was like, okay, we're going to go for that. So I bought that. Also, I was talking to a guy and uh, he was saying that uh, he ran into the same issue. He had failed the uh, wireless uh, design certification twice, okay? He failed it twice, he was like, I, same thing, man. There's not enough material on the wireless design certification so that you can pass it. There's no boson practice exams. There's no boson uh, net sim labs. There's no labs on, I don't believe there's any labs on Udemy. Um, there's no, there, there is practice exams on Udemy, but they're nowhere near close to the kind of stuff that I was being asked on the certification, I used the practice exams that were in the com uh, not CompTIA. I used the practice exams that were in the Cisco official cert guide. Nowhere near close to what I experienced on the certification. Not, not even in the ballpark. So I was just at a standstill. I was just like, "Yo, man, like, I, I, trying to trying to understand, trying to understand how these questions are going to be asked is what was tripping me up when it came to trying to pass the certification." He recommended is this. He's like, "Go to the Cisco website and look at their white pages." He was like, "They literally have." dictionaries full of information when it comes to wireless design and there as well they talk about case studies they're talking about adjustments you need to make when it comes to certain environments they talk about things that you need to mitigate they talk about the kind of errors that you get when certain configurations are done wrong and I was like this is perfect this is the information that I need in order to bridge the gaps so for the last three months where I've been absent this is what I've been doing. I've been reading the Cisco white pages. I've been working on that course that I had just mentioned where it talks about the case studies. I had been labbing uh, because um, believe it or not, if you do want to get into wireless and then you got a Cisco ID, if you go on their website, you can download a virtual wireless LAN controller with an evaluation license for 30, 60 days. So you can, you can lab with that. Also, you can do it in packet tracer to it if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, so for the last three months, I've been doing all these things. And finally, I scheduled the exam 
on the seventh. Now see, here's the thing though. My job was pressuring me. I mean, like it was pressure. I was getting constant emails. Hey, you passed the cert yet? You passed the cert yet? You passed the cert yet? When you pass the cert, upload it here, upload it here. And so I'm just like, my anxiety is at an all time high. And, but my focus is at an all time high as well. And so I had to pass the certification by the 15th of December. And I had scheduled it on the 7th. And so, uh, as you guys know, I finally passed it. Oh my God. Sorry I'm so long-winded, but there's a lot of information that you guys needed to know. And honestly, that was a lot of venting that I kind of needed to do to get you guys to understand what's been going on over the course of the last three months. But long story short, I passed the certification. I am officially <laughs> CCMP certified. Uh, I'm no longer, you know, halfway there. Uh, this test absolutely burnt me out not really actually um this test really took a toll on me mentally um not in a bad way but it was just it was just really difficult uh getting all the information keeping all the information and then you know having the confidence to keep pushing through even though i was failing so for this concentration certification i failed twice before passing it and you know uh failing isn't cheap you know every time you fail you got to pay an additional 300 almost 400 dollars at least when it comes to Cisco search. So uh, it's just it's just been a long three months. And I am sorry, you know, for breaking contact with you guys. I could have shot you guys a message or something. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I did the impromptu video not too long ago. But uh, the certification was extremely difficult, primarily because there was no material on it. There was it was hard to lab. It was, you know, it was just it was, it was different studying for this one and uh but now that we got it man we got it <laughs> we got it and keeping it is gonna be easy oh my god i didn't think that this certification would be this freaking hard i'm gonna make another video shortly after this because i want to go uh, i want to talk a little bit more about um the test itself my experience with it and uh what I would you know recommend for you guys if you guys were either going in that direction or you wanted to go to the CCMP from the CCNA because this video is dragging on a little bit you know I think I've been talking for close to 20 minutes so uh, instead of talking your ear off and having you click off this video sooner than I would like for you to I'm just gonna make another video and I'm going to uh, go a little bit more in depth when it comes to that but what do you guys got going on have any of you guys taken any of these CCMP concentrations or, you know, have tried or is in the process of taking a CCMP and you've run into some of these hurdles and obstacles? If so, comment in the section below. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Um, you guys are everything. You guys are everything. One of the things that kept me going also is just you guys, man. Through those three months, I would see people commenting on videos and although I wanted to, to reply to them, I kind of just couldn't because my mind was obviously locked in on the cert. But one thing I want to say is to everyone that has commented, people that show support and the people that, you know, are telling me thank you for showing the journey. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll do anything for y'all. Not really, but I'll do what I can for y'all <laughs> when it comes to, you know, just helping you forge ahead. Uh, that's all for this video. Um, as always, stay safe, stay positive, learn everything, get the gains, take some breaks, Get locked in, clean up your diet, and get the gains! Ugh!